What is going on, family? Welcome to another edition of Black Knight Mustang. Of course, y'all know, bam, it starts with a good old community coffee from the house. Good old community coffee is always good at the house. But anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and get into this video. So as y'all can see, we got Black Knight sitting over here. We drove it the other day to the doctor's office, and it had sit for about two or three months. I think it's three months since we went to Ford Takeover. But anyway, Black Knight sitting over there chilling. But today's video ain't about about Black Knight. It's about the Malibu. So y'all, let's get into it. So y'all remember last year, like right now, it's really hot in Alabama. It's like probably 95 degrees with 100 and some heat index. So this bad boy right here comes in good. I'm glad I invest in this. And oh my God, it throws out some air. Usually that's on two now, but usually I put it on one. Y'all probably can't hear it. So I usually put that on one and I'm fine, but uh, I got it on two today because it is my, look, look at this, it is hot out here. Yeah, so we're going back inside. We're going to be cool. So, y'all, enough jibber jabber. Let's go to work. So, y'all, we got the oil right here. So, what we use is the Castro right here. Castro GT. Uh, full synthetic. We definitely use full synthetic. And this for, like, high mileage cars. Um, okay, so I messed up. I got actually going to have to take this one back because this is synthetic blend. Well, not really because this is full synthetic. I usually buy two because you got to uh, top it off. So this is synthetic blend. This is what I run in the van. Um, so I can keep this one for the van and I run, uh, no, because I went to full synthetic. So I'm going to actually have to take this back to Walmart because I forgot I switched the Mustang to full synthetic after I fixed the leak. So um what we're gonna do we got maybe enough to finish because it takes one of these and maybe like a bottle to top it off and then we went with the stp extended life y'all can see right there ten thousand miles but i like to put a good filter don't no cheap filter uh so it'll last anyway so sometimes you gotta spend a little bit more but you want to use good stuff in your uh car so anyway y'all <music>
So another thing that you always want to do, you want to make sure you always chalk your wheels back here. So we get to chalk, chalk the wheels. You always want to do that because you don't want no roll back on and also make sure you pull your emergency brakes all right so we are good and uh, all good and safety wise safety down everything's good so uh let's get to work
walk out here, y'all. We're gonna show y'all what you're supposed to do when you before you put the new oil filter on. So we got the oil filter here. That's some of the old oil. So what you want to do is take the filter out, and y'all see that rubber that's right there, all around there. Well, you can dip it in there. Or you can take your finger and rub some around it. So, but you don't want to dip it all the way in there. See how I'm doing? Those barely dipping it, and that should see how that got the oil all the way around it. Because you want this to, you want this to seal up. So that's why you want to go ahead and put that oil on here, around here, just so it can seal up. So let's go ahead and just go put this filter. In. Okay. So now, since we're back on top of the car, I like that back on top. <laughs> usually y'all uh, in here did usually your top usually tell you like this when I take it off y'all can see tell you what kind of oil see as y'all can see right there that one says 5w30 SAE and it takes synthetic so uh, that's a good way to learn sometimes if, if you don't you might see it up here or somewhere on here or somewhere down here like a sticker but it's a good way to learn how to what oil you need or you can just look up in the manual if you if you can't find the manual. Usually, like I said, most of the time they're on the tops right there. So, y'all, we're gonna go ahead. Y'all listen to this music while we put this oil in here, and we turn this fan back on. Oh my God, it's hot here. It's hot. <laughs> So now we're going to check the oil on the stick. Let's settle down a little bit, see what we got. Always wipe it off first and go back and stick it back in. Alright, so this is showing on the on the stick, y'all. Y'all probably can't see that, but it's on the stick. But what we gotta do is let it run because what happened is a lot of that oil didn't get in the filter because we didn't run it long enough. So we're gonna let it run and then we'll come back and check it. So let me run it and I'll get back with y'all. Okay, so while that's simmering down the oil so I can check it and make sure it's right. We gonna run. Let me show y'all something. A lot of times I put Lucas in here. And let me show y'all what I do. I buy the big thing Lucas like this because it's for the truck and for the car. But, oh my God, I done dropped that on my foot. It's broke now. Anyway, <laughs> I bought one of these because this actually like takes the place of one uh, quarter oil. So you can buy the big thing right there and fill, it, fill this up and it'd be perfect. So, um, 
I'm not putting Lucas in there this time because I put Lucas in the last time. I used to do it like every second time. So if you want to know like your second oil change, or you can do it every time. It's up to you. But I do mine every second oil change. And let me show you what how I keep up with everything. So let's walk back over here. Yeah, my garage is junky. I got to get it together. I do some serious cleaning up. Just been doing everything else, grinding on YouTube. So, this is my maintenance book. Take this out. And this is where we keep up with everything. So, as y'all can see, there's a lot of writing on the Malibu right there. Or oil changes, everything that's be, that been done. And then, this is the Mustang. You don't see a lot of oil changes on there because I don't hardly ever drive it. <laughs> This is my mother-in-law's car, the other car she had. And some other stuff that we did upgrades. This is my son's car right here. And this is the Hyundai uh, van. So y'all can see right there, we keep up with stuff like that. And it's good to have this uh, maintenance book um, to keep up with. So you know when your oil changes need. So I'm gonna have to write that in there in a minute. But let's go ahead and go back and check this oil and see what it looked like. So y'all, I hope this video was helpful to some of y'all. Yes, it's hot as I don't know what out here, like probably 105 degrees, 95 degrees with the heat index, 100, 305. But I'm ending this video so I can be out here a minute. <laughs> so anyway, just wanted to show y'all that in case, you know, a lot of times you take these to the shop, they charge you like crazy to change your oil. It's, it's not a lot to do. I change my oil and everything. I don't know when the last time. I've been years when I was a teenager when I took my car to get it oil changed. Ever since then I learned, I think in my 20s, I started changing my own oil, you know. Plus that's how I learned. Y'all see me, I tackle a lot of stuff, I don't mind trying it. So never be scared of your vehicle. You can change the oil yourself. If you got time, if you don't have time, take it to a shop. But the main thing is get your oil changed. Change it when it's time, okay. Some of y'all don't know, if you're running regular oil, change it every 3,000 miles. If you run a synthetic like we're doing, you can get six to 8,000 miles out of it. I always change mine at 6,000. This time I went over, I let it go to 7,000. It still was good. So anyway, with that said, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you share and also make sure you come on and subscribe with me because we got a lot of more content coming. With that said, y'all know what it is. Stay in life, baby. We out. Peace.